So I got a 3D printer. I have no idea how to use one of these, nor do I have any background in using one of these. And my goal is with this video to at least give people an idea that are completely new to the aspect of 3D printer, 3, 3D printing. How to use it, and like my experience learning how to use the programs on my computer that's over there, and also just working with this. Because from my understanding, which is like YouTube research only, is that 3D printing is still a fairly unstandardized process, and there's a ton of quirks. So, this is going to be my adventure with 3D printing. So the printer I decided to get is a good old Duplicator i3 Plus by Wanhow. And by watching my videos on YouTube, I realized that a lot of, there's a lot of praise about this printer. Now, of course, it's not like the best printer to get, but with my budget I had, and from what I was hearing about this, I decided to get it. And this box is being not very fun to open. Um, got a bunch of plastic and foam to work with. Oh god. <laughs> Thought this would all just kind of come off as one piece. This is interesting. Alright, let's open up the plastic. Oh, it smells nice. Can you smell that? Oh, yeah, bro. Plastic smell. Ah! Alright, so a little piece of foam. And it looks like this is the build bed, the printing bed. And the good thing, one of the key features I wanted from the printer I was working on was a heated bed. Because that allows you to print with like uh, plastics that aren't supposed to, like they have a, they need a, um, what is it? A prolonged uh, cooling period. Because like PLA actually dries pretty fast. So you don't need to worry about keeping the bed hot to keep that from uh, drying too fast, or not very cooling off. Whereas ABS is a lot more of a, you need a slow cool down period or else it'll peel up from the bed. So heated bed is definitely something I wanted. Looks like we have like a little box of knickknacks in here. Let's see what's in here. Right. So it comes with a blue USB cable like printer USB B cable. We have a special T tool from what it looks like. I don't know what this is supposed to do yet. Uh, a few Allen wrenches, zip ties, some like rubber shims or something, and a little like thing to help the, uh, what is it, the filament feed into the machine. That's helpful. Then we have the power cable. It's a three pronged mains adapter or whatever. We got a scraper. This is helpful because your prints will actually get like stuck to the bed. It looks like we also have an 8 gigabyte SD card. Okay. So that's definitely overkill for some of the things that we're going to be printing. But it's good that they give you plenty of wiggle room. And it's SanDisk, so it's an actual like reputable company. We have, I guess this is the support for the filament. So like that basically. Oh, wait. Is that? Probably us. Ah. Yeah. Okay. We have. Figuring this out as we go. No manuals, no instructions. Okay, so there's a little nut here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's how you construct it. That's cool. Alright, so we got what looks like. Uh, no idea. <laughs> the instructions will hopefully explain what this is and what it does. But it's definitely delicate. So we'll safely put this down here. And <laughs> then we get a little hook. That's interesting. I'm gonna be generating a lot of trash with all this, it looks like. All right, so, okay, so this is like a little block of foam. Let me just lift up, that's good. Like, I don't wanna start pulling on things, because I wanna be very delicate about this. So. I'm almost wondering if I wanna just cut the sides of the box and just kinda fold it out. I'm gonna try to gently lift up on this construction here. Oh, okay, it's coming up. So, this is the base of the machine. We have our screen up here. As you can see, our bed it moves along our uh, axis. I can't remember right now, that's embarrassing. 
We have a power adapter and just the power switch back here. And the bed, which has our spring screws. And on the side, the machine, a connector and a wire, another connector. I think this is for the extruder. Mounts for the upper part of it. SD card slot and our USB tether along with look, looks like a reset switch. Okay. And on the front, we have our touch screen for our parameters that we want to have on the printer. And it's all metal construction, so it feels very solid. Like, oh. <laughs> yeah, it feels very solid, I like it. I wanted to do this last night, but I also wanted like a second angle mm -hmm. and like me holding my phone. <laughs> this, this this is, is, and, and, and I just, and, and this is, and this is what uh, the thing is. <laughs> I, I'm going to get a shop back maybe after we're done recording. Oh, what? A shop back? Oh, back. Like a vacuum. <laughs> Sucking. All right. So it looks like we have the top. Right here, with the extruder already mounted, zip tied in place, which is nice. Gently lift this up. I love how this thing's all built out of metal. It feels incredibly sturdy. Oh, that's cool. It comes with a, like a small amount of it is already 3D printed. We have our extruder right here, along with our fans, nozzle, and uh, steel bars guided by a belt. Then we have a screw that guides it up and down. And let's see what's left in the box. Okay, so what's left in the box, we got a another printing bed. We have a the very nicely printed, oh wow. Okay, this is actually a really high quality manual, so I'm gonna go through this and be happy about it, not hate myself. And then we have a um, little bit of filament. So I need to cut this up time. Get the super scissors. Just, uh, there we go. The thing is I need to put this there. I think it's too low. This is probably not the right way to do it. I mean, I never watched an unboxing video for this printer, actually. Like, I, well, I watched like, like the first three minutes where the guy was like, it's a cardboard box. I'm like, hey, I have that cardboard box next to me. I'm gonna slide these, these in. Chop that in there. Whoop. So it comes with some nice uh, hex nuts. There we go. Okay, so we got one side tightened. And when tightening, you want to go in an X pattern. So I'm starting with the back left of the printer from your guys' perspective. I'm going to go to the front right. So, we have a collection of connectors back here. And they're all labeled, so we have B to B, A to A, D to D, stuff like that. So, that's really helpful. install the uh, top mounted spool holder. It's just another two Allen bolts.
All right, thank you guys for watching this unboxing slash build video. I know it's kind of everywhere. This is actually the first video that's going to be on my channel, and I hope you guys liked it. For future videos, I'm probably going to be making stuff and 3D printing, so if you like my style so far, leave a like, subscribe, and do whatever. Have a great day.